Hello and welcome to the fourth class in study of logic. Um, I've did um, three videos ahead before this final class um, in the study of logic. So what we're looking at the concept of tautology and contradiction. So first is first, what is tautology by definition and also what is contradiction by definition? Um, these two are like opposites. It's like saying go and come, right? So go and come. So this like this one like um, this one is has to do with speaking the truth. This one has to speak with the force. So um, let's discuss tautology and its meaning and solve this problem and also discuss um, contradiction and its meaning and solve that problem. All right. By definition. Tautology is a compound compo composition. Tautology is a compound proposition which is always true for every value of its propositional variable, that is, all its end products are true. So that's a definition for tautology. So when it comes to end products, end products mean that final answer. They all must be true. That is, um, Let's solve this problem and let me show you what we mean by tautology, right? So first is first, I have variable A and B. So solution here. So it says prove that this is a tautology. By tautology, we mean our final answer should be all true. There should not be a single force there. It should be true, 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 true throughout. So what does it mean there? I have two variable. I have variable A and variable B. Complete them. This is true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. Next up, I'm asked to find this. Let's find A or and B first. For and, what do we say? We know that for and, at least one false, right? So it's true, true is true. It contains false, becomes false. It contains false, becomes false force becomes force here yeah? this is for and for all let's get all a or b let's get a or b for a or b we said at least if you contain one true so this is true for this one is true this is true this is false finally let's get this two let's get a and B implication A or B. Now this implication means that if the if it when I explained this concept last class, I said if for this symbol there, um, if they are the same, that is they are double, maybe when I true true false false, the answer should be true. So I'm focusing on this versus this. So true true, my answer is true. True false. So sorry, false true. We said change the initial to true. It becomes true. Change this one to true. It becomes true. It becomes true. So if you're familiar with our in our last class, you should understand how this works. So this uh so this is said to be tautology. Why? Because my end product, my answer here are what true, 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 true. This is why this is called a tautology. A tautology is simply um, a process of solving either two variable or three variable, right, which include connectives such that the end products are all true. So this end product, if they are all true, is said to be a tautology. Why for this one there, its end product, why for this um, contradiction here, yeah, the end product of what will be false? This one is all true, yeah? Yeah, because what? All false. Let's just prove this and let's see. So for a contradiction, what's the contradiction by definition? Contradiction is a compound statement which always false for every value of its proportional variable. That's how you define um, contradiction. So it means that for this one now, everything is true. For this one here, yeah, everything is false. So let's take this problem and prove if this question here is a what contradiction. So first start here, I'm having A, B. 
or true. These are just A, B, there's no C here. So it's a two variable concept. So I have variable A, solution. I have my variable A and variable B in this case. Now for two variable, let's blast off our true and false concept. We said true, true. Next up, true, false. False, true, and false, false. I have balanced my true variable. Now, next up, to get this question, I need to know negation of A and negation of B. So let's get negation of A, right? Let's also get negation of what? Of B. We say when it comes to this symbol, for A, for A, this is T. Change it to become what the false, the opposite. This is true becomes false. This is false. Becomes true. This is false. Becomes true. Just change it. For B, similar thing. I'm seeing T. Here becomes false. I'm seeing false. Here becomes T. I'm seeing T. Here becomes false. Finally, I'm seeing F. Here becomes T. That's how negation works. Finally, I need to get A or B. Let's get A or B. For all. We said that for all, if that T contain at least one T, the answer should be T. Now I'm having A, A B. So A B, this is my A B. But I'm focusing on what the the um connective called O, right? Now I'm said for all there, T T is of course T. If it contain at least one T, the answer should be T. So T T there's a T here, becomes T. T force, there's a T here, because it has one T, becomes T. Force T, F T, there's a T there, becomes T. Finally, F F, there's no T in this one, F F, to so become what there, becomes a F. This I find O. So I've gotten this, let's, I've gotten this one, Abby. let's not combine the together. So let's get this A um, or B and negation of a and negation hold on hold on I have not gotten this part let's get it first let's get this one let's get negation of a and negation of b this before the final of this for negation of a, a this is and for and if that is contain at least false the answer becomes false that is for this one now, because on these two, force, force, of course, there's a force there, becomes F. Force, true, there's a force there, becomes F. True, force, a force exists, becomes F. True, true, there's no force, becomes what there, a true. As I find this one. For and, at least, it will contain one true. For all, sorry. For all, it must contain at least one true. For and, at least one force. I've done this in our previous classes, right? So let's get this final one, please. For the final one, of course, as you can see, it can't contain this. I'm right to write everything down here. It can't contain. But I expect that I'm combining um, this one versus this one. True or false? Of course, yes. But using a symbol called what? And. So I'm connecting these two using a connective called and. I will say for and check out for at least one force. At least one force, it should be force. So if I'm to combine this one there, a force exists in this thing. I'm having true force. Force exists becomes force. True force. Force exists becomes force. True force. Force exists becomes force. False true. Force exists becomes force. This is called what? A what? A contradiction. Why? Because the end product, my final answer is false, 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 or true. This one is called uh, a. This one is called tautology. Why? Because my end product or my half, my final answer are all true. So this is how this is how we explain the concept of tautology and contradiction. Yeah, yeah, contradiction. So if so, a problem, and at the end of the answer, you're having all answers be true because what the the tautology but in a case of your answer and your answer lies down of the half 
all your answer boils down on force, 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 as the case, they call it a contradiction. What of if there's a mixture of true and false in the answer? What do you call it? Hmm? What do you call that? Assignment, please. So tell me, you know, I told, I said if I'm to combine answers together, like this one now, I got true, true, or true. It's called what the tautology. This one gives me false to be all together, false or true. It's called contradiction. What if I, what if I have true and false mixed together as my answer? What do you call that? Assignment. So leave your answer to that assignment in the comment section. And I'll reply you if you're quite wrong. See you in the next class. Sorry for the stress I gave you. Just try, just learn. If I give you the answer now, it's easy for you to just, just show yourself and give me the answer to what I asked in the comment section. All right. See you in the next class. So we are done with logic at this level. So I've done four videos only on logic alone. So do have to watch the logic from the beginning before you enter or perhaps before you dive into this final class. All right. See you in the next class and welcome to Excellent Link Academy. If you're interested in assisting us um, or perhaps want to donate, you can actually check our account detail in the next page. I'll be showing you. If you also have any question, you can reach out to me through my WhatsApp number. I have I've created a website. Um, it's usually called um, ghanaabari.com. Right, that's my website um, name. You can get there. So you see over close to 200 videos for mathematics physics, and chemistry. So you can purchase the courses there. So it's a lifetime access. Once you buy the course, it's a lifetime access. Right, so do well to buy the course. I also launched a book called The Shortcut to Academic Success. For Nigerian, for Nigerian students, it costs just 1,000 Naira. If you're interested, reach me out and then I'll send you the, I'll send you the um, book via PDF after making a payment. All right, see you guys at the top. <laughs>